Good morning and welcome to Radio Greenside. This is episode number 12 of Radio Newsletter. It is episode number 14 overall on the Radio Greenside podcast channel. And tomorrow, May 7th, is our one-year Radio Greenside anniversary. And welcome to today's extra special episode of... Radio Newsletter. (laughs) Radio Newsletter. (laughs) A big welcome from all our students and teachers to the summer term at Greenside. The year of going places. And it's so busy, we're going to need some pretty powerful memes to take us on our journeys. We're going back in time, 70 years. And thinking about the world and what the planet might be like, 70 years time. From 1952 to 2022 all the way through to 2092. Did you know that Greenside was built 70 years ago? So when Queen Elizabeth II was beginning her time as Queen, the first group of students came to this school in this very building. Amazing! Did you know know that 70 years ago the state of the planet was very different? It was just after the end of World War II. People in London didn't have fridges, phones, all the type of food we have now. The climate emergency didn't exist. Did you know that Singing in the Rain and Hans Christian Andersen were two films made in 1952? They both have songs that we love at Greenside. In our cruise, we've been exploring how jobs and careers have changed over the past 70 years, and it's been fascinating. We've been thinking about what jobs we are aiming at in the future. From zoologists to artists, and of course, filmmakers, we will change the world. Last week, a group of students attended a chutney-making master class led by a School Food Matters chef at Chelsea Academy. Ali Reza? I enjoyed learning how to measure ingredients and use the grater to grate the fruit and vegetables. Well done, Ali Reza. If you have been down to the hall when the days when Tanya was here at Greenside, you would have seen lots of Greenside students dancing an original piece of ballet. We are loving it and getting quite good. We're going to see we're going to the comedy theatre in Leicester Square in July to dance on the biggest stage we've ever seen. We're nervous but super excited. We be we'll be back to tell you more. Next week Year Six will be taking their key stage two test and we wanted to wish them lots of luck from everyone at Greenside. Do your best, Year 6. You'll be great. Good luck. Hi, everyone. Miss Finney here. Just to say an enormous good luck to everybody in Year 6. As we know, they have their tests next week. They've worked unbelievably hard. And now is their chance to really show everything that they've learnt. So good luck, Year 6. You're going to be amazing. I have no doubt. Just one more announcement before we begin. Next Friday, the 13th, of May at 9 a.m. we've got our uh, community bread event hosted by Miss Weber. So join us in the Greenside Micro Bakery to learn about our bread and discover the breads of our Greenside uh, communities. All families, carers, and Greenside Greenside community members are welcome. Uh, please do let Miss Weber know. You can email her at Georgina W at GreensideSchool.org. And now for an update on crew. Crew 1 and 2 had an exciting start to this term's learning, as if students and teachers coming to school dressed in outfits representing their dream jobs wasn't exciting enough, we also had an afternoon exploring different professions. We experienced being builders, bank clerks, doctors, vets, supermarkets assistants and hairdressers. Our hair salon was very popular and even had customers such as Miss Bastic Styles, Mr Yates and Mr Mahara. Year threes and four loved dressing up as what they wanted to be when they're older. We had a lot of footballers. We talked about the difference between careers and job, researched some exciting and unusual careers that existed in the 50s, compared to today, and created an interview do's and don'ts videos on iMovies. 
We've loved launching into a new crew in year five and six, all about careers and different career paths. We started by dressing up in uh, the uniforms of the jobs that we like to do when we're older. Um, and then our students listen to us talk about how we found our career paths and our journeys to Greenside. Uh, we've looked at a different job each week, a different um career choice each week which has been wonderful uh, we're looking at the 70 year journey and how jobs compared in 1952 to now we're really looking forward to everything we're going to learn over the next few weeks before we get to our films here's an update on two class trips last week we went to separate bush market to buy spices and ingredients for the, our indian school lunch whilst at the market we practiced using money in a real life context the class then made a variety of Indian dishes for the rest of the school and wrote them up as recipes. Year 5 dove into the world of space and stars with an amazing trip to the Science Museum. We explored the space exhibition, finding out interesting facts about space and how one could survive in space. Let's dig into our new films. In Nursery and Reception, they're learning all about mini-beasts through the film The Bee Movie. Students are learning about the importance of mini-beasts in ecology, and the students have also had the opportunity to take part in several STEAM activities, such as honey tasting, building a beehive for the bees in our local community, planting wildflowers in our learning garden, and growing their very own butterflies. They will also reflect on the most significant threats to our mini-beast, and in particular bees, and the ways in which we can help protect those mini beasts and the environment for the future. It has been a real blast of history for year one this half term, and they've been learning all about the wind rush generation through their film, Johnny and Jemima. Jemima is a six year old girl who comes over from Jamaica and befriends a six year old boy named Johnny. Together, they walk the streets of Notting Hill and explore the turbulent highs and lows of 1950s London. Year two's film this half term is Peter and the Wolf. This is a wonderful story where the characters are represented by musical instruments. Last week, they looked at another piece of music where animals are represented by instruments, Carnival of the Animals. Students chosen an animal, wrote detailed facts uh, on that animal, made headpieces, and decided which instrument to represent them in their very own Carnival of the Animals parade. Year three are learning about a film set in India called Tarzamin Par. It's about a young boy who has dyslexia and finds school challenging until he meets an incredible teacher who recognizes his talents. They've been learning about Indian culture and Bollywood films to understand more about where the film is set. Year four's film is Wajda, which is not only the first film entirely filmed in Saudi Arabia, but also the first female-directed film in Saudi Arabia. Haifa Al-Mansur jumped through many hoops and broke many cultural barriers when making the film, and this has inspired Year 4 so much that we just had to write about it. So we wrote a report all about the growing Saudi Arabian filmmaking industry and the importance of Al-Mansur's contribution to filmmaking and the world. Year 5's film is actually one of my personal favorites. It is Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey. So their half term is all about space and the start of Earth and evolution. Year 5 took a deep dive into learning more about planets and space, as well as the beginning uh, to question how the world began. They have been uh, having a great time exploring space through art, active experience, and food. And they've even de dehydrated their own uh, space food. Similar to Year 5, Year 6 has traveled to another galaxy. Following their incredible learning about Star Wars, they just couldn't resist another space journey, and what better than Cosmos, a space-time odyssey. So far, they have learned about the Big Bang and how Earth was formed more than 4 billion years ago. They have looked at the first uh, lived and uh, tracked how scientists believe humans evolved. So before we hear about our stars of the week, let's travel down to uh, Nursery and Reception, where they've had their Link and Learn event recently. So Nursery and Reception students got the opportunity to show off their phonics knowledge to their parents. In Nursery, students went around on a sound hunt matching a letter with something in the classroom. Students enjoyed using the interactive whiteboard to sound out the, and write the words butterfly and the word bug. 
In reception, students were writing a list of the mini beasts that they could identify and also reading captions and matching them to the correct picture. There were so many fun activities in the learning garden as well. Students went on a tricky word hunt as well as finding and labeling different mini beasts and much, much more. Thank you so much to our students and of course our parents and carers that um, participated in the Link and Learn event. Oh yes, it's that moment you've all been waiting for. It is Stars of the Week. In nursery, we've got Ziggy for always being a kind friend and helping others, and Riley for her excellent progress in maths. In reception, we've got Gracie for independently writing her own mini-story, and Reggie for his brilliant reading in phonics. Year one, we've got Piper for writing an interesting piece of nonfiction comparing Britain and Jamaica, and Oscar for working so hard on his handwriting and using his phonics in his writing. In year two, we've got Aza for brilliant maths work, finding fractions of a number and shape, and Theo for amazing enthusiasm in every area of his learning. In year three, our stars of the week are Jasmine for her focus in arithmetic and Lewis for his enthusiasm when writing recipes. In year four, we've got Otto for his continued resilience and focus attention on all subjects of his learning and Atlanta for joining year four and working so hard to learn all about her new school. In year five, we've got Dominic for an amazing effort in improving work and helping with the digital leader responsibilities, and Lena for her amazing resilience in all areas of her learning, huge improvements to her learning, and always just has the best attitude uh, to learn further. Then in year six, finally, our uh, year six starts of the week, our uh, Nicholas um, for taking advantage of his revision challenges and just seeing his confidence grow. Amazing work, Nicholas and Saray, for just being such an amazing star and working really hard to prepare for these upcoming tests and honestly just looking great uh, to tackle secondary school. Congratulations to all of our stars of the week. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Radio Newsletter. This is, like I said at the beginning of the show, our one-year Radio Greenside anniversary, and we are so happy and proud of all of our listeners and all of our contributors. Thank you so much to the Greenside community and beyond globally to all of our listeners. Do make sure to subscribe to this podcast on all major streaming platforms, especially Apple Podcasts, and of course, smash that follow button uh, on Instagram as well. See you next time on Radio Newsletter. <laughs>